Hey everybody, welcome back. Let's talk about 10 ways to increase brand awareness. So what is brand awareness? Well, it's basically a term that describes how consumers recognize and identify with your brand and to what extent they identify with it. The greater a company's brand awareness, the more familiar people are with its name, with its logo, with its products, and with its message. It's really important because it helps consumers understand and remember and trust what your company offers. They know you when they see you and they come to value you. And when they need a product or service, you want customers to think of your company and not your competitors. And really when it comes down to it, the goal of brand awareness basically is to increase sales. Now brand awareness is important because it tells you a number of things. Brand awareness tells you how effective your brand design is. So your logo, your fonts, your colors, are they distinct? Are they consistent? Are they recognizable? Do people know it when they see it? It also tells you how effective your marketing is. Are you actually cutting through the rest of the noise in the market landscape? It tells you how the marketplace is also receiving you. Are people building trust in your brand enough that they actually even want to remember you? And it also tells you whether you're effectively differentiating your brand from your competition's brand. Is there any confusion about who you are in comparison to your competition or others in the market? So with that out of the way, let's jump right into it. Here are 10 ways to improve brand awareness. Number one, you want to improve your discoverability. And what do I mean by discoverability? That really is how much you show up in Google search. And that comes down to content marketing and SEO. Okay, so as far as SEO goes, you want to use keyword tools to research the words and the phrases that people are actually searching for when they're looking for companies and products like yours. So there are tools like Answer the Public, which can give you results of what people are actually searching for. And then you want to use those keywords and those phrases in your web content and in your headlines and your image titles. So you will show up in Google search. Another great way of boosting your SEO is through content marketing and content production, the easiest of which is starting a blog and then using those keywords and those phrases in your blog posts. So you'll start to show up when people are searching for those terms. Number two is you want to develop a memorable brand identity. This is your logo, your colors, your fonts, your iconography, your design, your layout, your style. There's also some forgotten elements of brand identity, which are things like developing a smell associated with your brand, or sounds, or even patterns or textures. You can also go as far as human branding, so essentially like fashion and style. You can also develop a character like, you know, Geico or Frosted Flakes, where you're associating an actual character to your brand. You want to think about aesthetics. So you want to make sure that your brand aesthetic really speaks to your target market and your target avatar. You want to make sure that you're using the design, the aesthetic language that your category, your competitors, your industry uses. And then you want to use that brand identity and all of those brand design elements in everything that you do, in your marketing materials, in your business cards, your collateral, your swag, your email signatures, your social media artwork, all your thumbnails, etc. And then you want to be super consistent about how you use it. You want to be consistent because when you're consistent, people will recognize you when they come across you. Now, another great way to build brand awareness is number three, guest posting. When you're guest posting, you're actually doing something really smart, which is you're leveraging the audiences of others. Now, you can't jump right into getting featured on Forbes online. You need to start small a little bit. You have to build some credibility and write for smaller sites before you start writing for the bigger sites. You want to research other brands with similar audiences and then pitch them with your content and make sure that the topics that you're pitching are really relevant and interesting to their readers. You also want to make sure that you promote your content on their site to your readers so you can bring them new traffic, which is going to make you much more popular to them. You want to start off by writing a pitch email and offer three to five possible article headlines that you could write for them. And make sure to keep your pitch short because no one has time to read a long pitch email and you have a greater chance of acceptance if you keep it tight. 
Another way to build brand awareness is number four, through referrals or affiliate programs. You can start a referral program to increase awareness about your brand through building word of mouth. Think about it this way. If you get 10 people to share about your brand to four of their friends, you've got 40 new brand impressions. Here's a hack for you. You want to start a friend referral reward program, and that's developing a program for loyal customers who are referring your brand to some of their friends, and you're giving them free items or free discounts for telling other people about you. This can be a really effective brand awareness strategy because people are much more likely to buy from companies that their friends and family refer them to than by companies that are just promoting themselves. Now, I want to take a quick break and tell you about a really cool Facebook group that I've started. It's called Brand Design Masters. And it's a great group of creative professionals and entrepreneurs who are gathering together to network and ask questions and get feedback from each other and share news and resources and trends. It's a really cool and vibrant group. So I invite you to come over and join. Just go to facebook.com slash groups slash brand design masters and join today. Now, the fifth way to build brand awareness is through publishing content. Inbound marketing or content marketing is the best way to increase brand awareness. Why? Because it increases credibility. It's also super shareable and better than anything else, it's evergreen, meaning it stays around longer than any paid advertising campaign would. And content works while you sleep. In your content, you want to promote your industry expertise by championing trends and highlighting industry innovations and sharing news and apps and services and tutorials to give other people value. Posting content is one of the best things you can do for your business. And something to remember is that frequency is key because out of feed, out of mind. You want to really strive for posting every single day. And remember that one piece of content isn't just one piece of content. One piece of content can become many pieces of content by repurposing. You can take a video and turn it into articles. You can rip the audio and turn it into a podcast. There are all sorts of ways that you can take a single piece of content and repurpose it across platforms to get more exposure. Now, the sixth way to build brand awareness is through brand partnerships. And this is forming partnerships with other companies that have similar missions and where you share similar demographic targets of your customer avatar. And you can partner to produce co-branded content or co-host events that build awareness of both your brands at the same time. And if you can, it's beneficial to partner with more established brands. That way you can leverage your partner's larger audience wherever possible. Or you can form a relationship with a brand that actually complements yours. Here's a great example. You can have a brand like GoPro partnering with Red Bull. So GoPro is video for extreme sports and Red Bull is the beverage of extreme sports. Or you can have a partnership of a brand like Spotify and Starbucks. So Starbucks leverages St Spotify for playlists and playing music in its stores. So it's a great partnering. And Apple and MasterCard have actually partnered in the past too, before Apple you know, started up their own card system. You can also co-publish in partnerships. So you might co-publish articles or co-publish blog posts. You could also co-appear. So you could have two different brands appearing on the same podcast or in YouTube interviews. You can also partner with brands to develop discussion panels on particular industry topics that are interesting to your customer avatar, but feature both brands in that discussion panel. Now, the seventh way to build brand awareness is through paid advertising. Effective brand awareness campaigns on social media can get your brand in front of thousands to millions of potentially new customers. All you do is place ads on social media platforms that target your desired region or the audience that you want to gain followers and to increase exposure to your brand. Most platforms allow you to select age and gender and location and interests, and the targeting is pretty amazing to get your ad in front of exactly the people who are most likely to convert into customers of yours in the future. And you don't have to think of advertising as crazy expensive because you can get started for just a little bit of money. You can start an ad campaign on Facebook for as little as five or $10 a day and really get started with establishing brand awareness through some paid advertising.
Now, the eighth way to build brand awareness that a lot of people don't think of is producing interactive content. You want to create content that encourages people to actually engage with your brand and you want to make it highly shareable. For example, includes things like polls or surveys or quizzes or even calculators, checklists, and sometimes even questions on social media. This is a great technique because it gets potential customers really involved with your brand and it gets them to share and interact with your brand. And it provides you also, and this is really cool, with really valuable feedback and insights on what your potential customers are thinking and feeling. Number nine is you want to use hashtags and mentions in your social posts. To broaden your reach and your visibility, you can use hashtags. Be strategic about which ones you select. You want to choose hashtags that are really relevant to your brand so people who are interested in your products or searching for similar posts are going to discover you. You can also use mentions or tag other influencers. You can tag industry experts. You can either tag other businesses in your social posts. Because when you do this, they're going to get a notification that they've been tagged in your post. And that's going to bring their awareness to your brand. And also, then they might share it with their followers, which expands the reach of the awareness of your brand. But remember, don't be annoying. You want to add mentions and use tagging in moderation and only when your posts are really relevant and valuable to them because there's nothing worse than people who are tag bombing everyone under the sun and then you feel like you're getting sucked in and essentially used for someone else's promotional purposes. And finally, the tenth way to build brand awareness is by hosting events. This is called practicing essentially event marketing where you host a special event branded around your company. This can include live events such as festivals or conferences or fundraisers. It could also be virtual events like webinars or demos or workshops. Make sure you're focusing on topics that are really relevant to your target audience, things that they really connect with. And you can even do this on a small scale. My friend Richard Moore started an event called the Entrepreneur Business Live where he invites just 20 or 30 people for a couple hours to hear three speakers who speak for 10 minutes apiece. It's a great little networking event and it elevates his personal brand awareness and his meaningful network while giving opportunities for other people to expand their networks too. It's a great idea to host events on a smaller scale. So that's it. If you like this video, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and bang that notifications bell so you can get alerted when I post something new or when I go live. And if you need help building the awareness of your brand, reach out to me at philipvandusen.com and let's get your business rocking. And with that, thanks again for watching. Bye for now.